Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. Today I'm reviewing a figure I picked up at Comic Con and that is Boss. Now I uh, paid a little bit extra for Boss but I thought it was worth it. Um, you know with the whole Scorch thing in the masquerade. But um, yeah, um, as far as packaging goes, basic Darth Maul packaging. Um, they said that we will be seeing a look at the new Yoda for the Attack of the Clones packaging at Celebration. So uh, excited to see that. And I am trying out a new light, guys, sorry, it's kind of like a LED flow light design, it's supposed to soften the light on my face and on the figure, um, so I don't have that one bulging LED right in my face that was always kind of difficult to work with, but um, Boss looks really good, I'm excited to uh, open him and see what uh, features he has, but I cannot remember what episode that was, I know it was the last episode of the Night Sisters trilogy, um, but I'm not sure, um, I'll let you pause if you want to and you can read the bio. And, uh, once again, this guy is a part of Delta Squad. First made his appearance in the, uh, 2005 video game. And, yeah, that's, uh, pretty much the packaging of Boss. This is Clone Wars number 11. And we can see the other figures in the wave. All those guys. And I know I'm a bit late on this guy, but I could not find him anywhere. My Walmarts are, like, completely out of date. Like, I mean, the newest one they have is maybe a Phase 2 Clone Trooper in Clone Wars, and a, let's see, like, a, a Phantom Menace Obi-Wan for their newest vintage. So my Walmarts and Targets are completely, you know, out of the, and it's just always hard to find stuff there. So when I saw this guy at Comic-Con, I knew I had to pick him up, but just give me a second to unbox him, and then I will start this review for you guys. Okay, guys, so this guy has finally been unboxed, and here he is. Now, I, it was actually pretty hard to get this guy unboxed because um, I didn't know what the whole pack was about. I didn't know how to, you know, I'm not sure if I got it correct, but I think I got it the way that the packaging had it. So if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comments. Uh, it was just a little confusing to me when I opened it. But, um, so there's his back. And there's the front. Really nice uh, paint job on the head. I do like that silvery blue kind of scheme that they used. And just to compare, um, this is the boss from last year's Battle Pack. Um, and you can see the differences. This one's got a little bit bigger helmet, bigger shoulder pads. Then again, this one's a little bit bulkier. This one's a little bit um, more made for Clone Wars. Um, but it's an interesting sculpt. I like it. Um, as far as articulation goes, we have no ankle articulation and no knee articulation, which is a mm, a big uh, disappointment. But um, we do have well, we have swivel swivel hips and a swivel waist. Yes, a swivel kind of a ball hinged waist. But um, then wait a minute, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, no, no swivel wrists. Um, ball hinged uh, elbows and Sorry, gun just fell off. And ball hinged shoulders with a ball jointed head, which is, hang on one second, guys, I'm going to get the gun. Which is a little bit disappointing for um, a figure like this because, um, you know, we, especially when it's a Republic Commando in Clone Wars, we, you know, look forward to it being a really good figure and a good sculpt, but it's, you know, it's kind of lacking a lot of stuff. But it does look very cool. I'm sure this stance, I, I would stand this up just like this. And probably put this on the shelf, but, um, yeah. Give you one look at him. I mean, it's a good paint job, don't get me wrong, but, like, the sculpt and the way they articulated him, just could have done better, Hasbro, could have done better. But, um, DC-17 in his arm right there. Um, pretty brand new sculpt, giving that, uh, the one we had last year was a little bit tinier. Oh, sorry. I thought um, it just it looked a little bit bigger to me, and then it all, he also came with two DC-17 blaster pistols. Focus. There we go. And here's the other one. He does come with his uh, battle game card and die and stand. Um, but the backpack, however, is very odd. Like, you know, I'll take it off to show the backpack to you. But here is what's inside. And this is what I thought, and I, on the packaging I saw this kind of tied around that. So I did this and it said it had an opening zip line. So again, this can come up and 
just pulled a knot and tip, but that's okay. Um, this can come up and you can kind of like zip line them. I don't know exactly what it's meant for, but that's kind of, and then, and then I just stored this right here. And I'm actually going to put the pistol in there, but it locks. Focus. It locks just like that, and I uh, got the knot tied. Um, a nice backpack, but very different than, you know, the screen, like the video game accurate backpack, which was this. And, uh, I like this one better. I wish they would have put this one on the guy, because he would have looked a lot more realistic. And I'm pretty sure, um, that this was the one he was wearing in, uh, the episode, in that brief cameo that we had of him. But, oh. <laughs> um, my final thoughts on this figure are, mm, it's a good figure for the shelf. Um, not too many poses can come out of them, but I mean, if you're just going to stand them right here, it looks cool to have on your shelf. And I'm sure since the Republic Commando, it's going to be popular. But I wish that they'd make the rest of the Delta Squad, but with better articulation. Because um, the articulation on this, I just, I pray they don't do a repaint of this guy if they choose to do that. Um, but, you know, got to be happy with, uh, you know, what Hasbro, Hasbro gave, gave us. We can, you know, give uh, a little bit of feedback as far as, but, you know, Overall, cool paint job, you know. Overall, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. That's my final opinion. And uh, one last good look at him. My camera's about to die, so... Yeah. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, review of Republic Commando Boss. And um, I tried to give the best review I could um, as far as... It's just... Like you could see on the side of his helmet, the detailing's a little bit too overdone. Like with the lines right there, the paint job on the helmet is okay, but a little bit too much black, in my opinion, for a Republic Commando. But, um, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this review. And next, I will probably be doing a um, another Clone Wars figure, and then a very special vintage figure that if you saw my Comic-Con videos, you would know who I'm talking about. But, um, yes. That's pretty much it for this review, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, may the Force be with you.